I don't think there ever is a good reason to kill human beings because they're perhaps genetically not uh, to our liking. My name's James Dowson. I'm a Christian and involved in pro-life work with the UK Life League. I'm against the concept of designer babies. We tried this before in the 1930s. It was called Nazism. It was an absolute disaster then, and I believe it will be an even bigger disaster this time round. I grew up on horror stories of the Nazis trying to genetically modify the, the people to become the super race, and all of us are horrified with that. But when a scientist does it in a white coat, uh, it seems to be acceptable. God has designed the universe to work in perfect harmony, and it does. There, you know, my own father died of cancer, his father died of cancer, so there's a probable chance uh, that I may also succumb to that disease. Uh, now, would I have wished my mother to genetically screen the embryos back then? No, because I wouldn't be here. And the clinics that came up originally with the genetic screening programmes, they've went from the original purpose of screening out disease to now offering genetically modified children to wealthy parents. You are creating perhaps up to 15 embryos, living embryos, um, to create one living child. So there's 14 embryos, on average, destroyed. That's 14 lives lost to create one. That fundamentally does not make sense. We have to step back and see how this will be used and overall, will this be for the general benefit of society or to the detriment of society?